I'm Greg Howell and today in my kitchen I'm going to be making soft scented chocolate pudding. Uh, this is something that my kids really like and were inspired by the, the chefs on TV when they're always after these delicious soft scented chocolate puddings and uh, I looked for one when my wife was after recipes that contained rice, found this one and the kids really love it. The ingredients are fairly simple. It's basically a souffle mix, so to four eggs um, we add 140 grams of sugar and then melt some 200 grams of chocolate, 100 grams of butter together, incorporate that into the mix, add some vanilla and cook. So it's something that can be done during the middle of the dinner party and um, served up as a a last minute dessert and it will impress but it's very nice. So the first thing that we'll do is separate the eggs using four eggs. Now it's probably not that important to separate the, the white from the yolk but it's something that my mother always told me to do. And we'll just mix that up and incorporate the sugar so that's about two-thirds of a cup of, of sugar into that mix. So we'll just use the electric beaters. <coughs> so keep beating. And incorporate the sugar. side. Uh, the next thing to do is melt the chocolate and the butter together. Now, because I'm very familiar with my microwave and the, uh, the temperature which this butter is, you can see it's quite soft. I know that I'll get away with 30 seconds but if, it, if you've got any doubt do it over a double boiler because if you split the chocolate it goes very grainy and it's not very pleasant at all. Now these have to go into metal ramekins. You can see I've prepared some here. The preparation is very easy. Just run a little bit of butter around the insides. and then flour them again with rice flour. So what I do is just put a bit in the bottom, put two together, shake them around and it's done. Until you've got it nice and smooth. And during this time you can judge the temperature because it's going into the eggs. You don't want it to be too hot at all. So if you've been cooking it for a long time over the double boiler um, and it's very hot. So we've got a nice glossy chocolate mix here. So that's finished. It's ready to incorporate in. Now the other ingredient that I'm going to put in today is some vanilla. Uh, I've got some natural vanilla here as vanilla paste or you could just as easily use a, a vanilla essence. So I'm going to put in a teaspoon of the vanilla paste and the chocolate. Get your whisk again and incorporate those ingredients together. You want to keep as much air in it as possible. 
so that they rise. This is like a, a souffle. And to that we're going to add our 40 grams of rice flour. Done. Then we can place them into our ramekins. And what I've found is pouring it is a little bit easier. And then we'll pop them into the oven for about 10, maybe 15 minutes. And uh, after that cooking time, then they should rest for an equal amount of time. Um, I did prepare one earlier. I'll just have a quick look. Ready? You can see they've risen up quite a bit. Now they're still actually doing some cooking at this stage. That's why it needs the extra 10 minutes. Um, because it's basically an egg mix, that's what sets it. And uh, then we'll turn them out. And there is the delicious chocolate pudding with rice and a nice gooey soft centre. And very delicious.